meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. And we are checking it out for you right now. 80 degrees at 7 o'clock, 75, 9 p.m. down to 71 at 11 o'clock with partly cloudy skies. Could be a brief passing shower this evening, mainly south of us down at a Warren and Clinton counties. And then 8 o'clock tomorrow, look for 68 in the morning, 80 degrees at noon and 85 at 5 p.m. with partly sunny skies. A little more humidity coming back into the area later tonight, tomorrow. Still kind of mild tonight, partly cloudy skies, certainly not as cool as the last couple of nights. And then that increasing humidity. Humidity level for Tuesday through Thursday. Shower thunderstorm chance comes back later Wednesday, mainly Wednesday afternoon and evening, and that chance will be with us into Thursday. Even a better chance on Thursday as a cold front moves into the area. But you can see the lows tonight. Expected to head down into the mid and upper 60s over our area, and then it's back to school tomorrow. City of Dayton schools and Oakwood heading back into class, and your forecast will give it a B on Tuesday. 86 degrees expected with partly sunny skies, a little more humidity in the air. At least uh, the chance of rain is minimal. Air quality index today was moderate, and the weed, grass, mold counts as of last check all low. The stall vision time lapse tonight of uh, some clouds drifting in from the south, a little more humidity south of us, too. And that uh, cloud cover moving in, sort of an indicator of the rising moisture. Not a lot of rain to be seen tonight on live Doppler 2 HD. We've had some showers down in the Warren Clinton counties, and a few of those have been drifting through the area, as you can see there. And uh, to the south and east of us, a little bit more rain. We do have a low pressure center west of us. Warm front lifting north and east, though, that'll put us back into that muggier air over the next 24 hours. Currently 79 degrees. Dew points up to 61 after being in the upper 50s earlier today. That makes it feel like 80 degrees out there. And our weather checkers tonight, Don Chateau and Sydney, 84 degrees. Over in the Springfield area, Tom Wyckoff at 81. Bill tells row tonight looking at a temperature reading of 83 in Greene County. And you can see those dew points upper 50s earlier today, but starting to creep back up into the low 60s and even higher south of us into Butler, Warren, Clinton counties where those numbers are getting up into the 70s now. Our future track forecast map keeping us dry for the most part tonight other than those spotty showers southeast of us. Looks like tomorrow should be mostly dry too. Probably a little overdone on the rain chances uh, tomorrow afternoon, although we can't rule out an isolated shower in the far northern part of our area. But a cold front does drop into the area on Wednesday. And with that front around, uh, the chance of some of those scattered showers and thunderstorms will certainly be on the increase. But tonight, a partly cloudy, mild night on the way. Sunset this evening at 834. And we will see some light south winds overnight as that warm front moves northeast. And then a partly sunny, warmer, more humid day tomorrow. Afternoon high at 86 with a west-southwest wind at 5 to 12 miles per hour. 75 10 o'clock, 80 degrees at noon, up into the 80s tomorrow afternoon, 86 at 4 p.m., 84 at 6 p.m., and then upper 80s on Wednesday with that chance for an afternoon, evening shower, thunderstorm, a better chance of rain Thursday with a high at 85 degrees, and then here we go again, just in time for the weekend, a little bit of lower humidity air coming back so it doesn't look too bad. Uh, for the third weekend of August with a high of 84 Friday, 82 on Saturday, and 85 on Sunday. So 80s in the forecast, but still not much in the way of any 90-degree weather. No. You told me the last time was one in June. Back June 12th. Yeah. yeah. Unreal. Get little peaks of fog.